Hi YouTube, Nathan here from Summon or Nothing, back on the weight saving sort of issue, one of my little kit videos that we're sort of stringing together here to help you guys follow our progression through what we're doing with our kit. I think I explained in a previous video that there are loads of companies making really expensive but super lightweight kit out there. There's, I, you know, I can't see that there is any ideal piece of kit. There's, there's no video that I've seen where everyone's saying this is the solution to that problem. There is no other product, no point buying any other product, you know. So, you know, you're all going to make of it what you will. We've started with far less expensive and far less adequate kit and still managed to have a good time and have an adventure. Don't think for a second that you have to go out and buy the most expensive, lightest weight kit because that, that's not the case, you know. You can, you can buy whatever you want and sort of get by, you know. The 10 pound jacket that I showed in one of the earlier videos has been totally adequate for the first two years. For years when I've been out trekking on my own, doing little hill walks, cliff walks, I'd still only carried a cheap 10 pound waterproof jacket. It's only now that I really, we're going up mountains that I felt the need to invest in a more expensive jacket. So, and even then, 50 pounds is not particularly expensive. I was looking at jackets that are 200 pounds up. So it's, it's up to you and your budget. You will find something to suit it out there. So next up in Nathan's bag of tricks is this little fella. Okay, this is a DD Hammocks Super Light 3 by 2.9, nearest damage 3 meter by 3 meter tire. Yeah, uh, it comes with guy lines and four pegs. Four pegs isn't really enough, so I have put some additional pegs in there. 65 pounds for this product from DD Hammocks. If you haven't gone on the website, go on their website. If you're interested in hammocks, tarps, lightweight one man tents that use hiking poles, have a look. They've got a great range of products, and I think they're reasonably priced. 65 pounds for this, I mean, that's great. They, they do a one man tent for about 140 pounds that uses your hiking poles. It is a single skin, so there is a compromise with condensation. It is well ventilated, but you have got a ground sheet in there, and it is under a kilogram in weight. It is, you know, it's, it's got to be worth a look if you're looking to go super lightweight or ultra lightweight. This, I have to thank my parents for this. This was a 34th birthday present. So that's great. Just for a comparison purpose, this is as tight as I can compact my old tarp, which is nowhere near the same size. I think it's like 2.8 by 2, maybe. It's not a very big tarp at all, or, or 2.4 by 2. It's not, not very big. It's an old military tarp. I did only pay about 25 pounds from it from an army surplus. I've just wrapped a load of paracord around it, which makes for a great guy line, but the weight of paracord does add up, especially when you've used that much of it. And then not only that, but because it's too small to peg to a ground in some of the 3x3 setups I've seen on YouTube, I've ended up taking another length of paracord with me as a top line to sort of tie it to. So, you know, that plus two hiking poles, which originally were my high gear hiking poles, against this plus two hiking poles, which are now my uh, OEX carbon hiking poles, you know, the space saving in the pack is is important but i'm trying to stay under 40 45 liters now and i'm comfortably getting there and the only issue i am having is where to put my sleeping pad i might change that out for a different one other than that everything's going pretty smoothly i can get enough food in there now i can probably do a comfortable two possibly even stretch for a three day hike in fair weather providing i haven't got to take that much in the way of extra clothing there's enough room for the food and the water uh you know and this is just improving that situation so I went for a hike this morning with my kit. It was only about five to six miles, just as a little test run. Uh, the pack is significantly lighter again. It is noticeable. So diving into this pack, there's not a whole lot to show, you know? So I will do a little setup video for this later and just I'll set both tarps up so you can see a comparison between what I had and what I have now. What you can see is these are the lightweight, I believe they're aluminium tent stakes or tent pegs. These came with the tarp. So comparing them to the originals that I was using that I just borrowed from a Van Gogh tent that I had, you know, there's a lot less material in this. Weight wise, 14 grams of steak, 10 grams of steak. When you're talking 10, 13, 15 steaks, that will make a difference, that will add up to make a difference. Also, uh, for my birthday, my parents got me some Terra Nova titanium tent stakes, which I'm going to have a look at. So they're a V-shape, so they should give great resistance uh, being pulled through the ground. They are ultra lightweight. So they're about 11 or 12 grams of steak. I'm sure there's some saving to be made if I remove the cordage that's on top of them. 
but they are lightweight, you know, uh, and try and keep the pack weight down. So there's an improvement there. Let's look at some overall weights now. Tarpon pegs for the DD Super Light, we're talking 624. And outside of my hiking poles, that's all I need. My original setup, 940 grams. So there's like a third of a kilo saving. Again, that is going to add up over time, you know? So um, add to that the fact that I've already saved 200 grams on the hiking poles and you're looking at a half kilo saving. Okay, cool, yeah. So that's the tarps. Um, let's go outside and see how they set up. And then I can talk you through the differences of the setups and the pros and cons of the bigger tarp when they're actually set up, okay? Speak to you soon.